Hello guys, Cosplay Gaming Nano is over here and welcome to F1 2013 Season Challenge Episode 2 Again consisting of two races Which is going to be the British Grand Prix And German Grand Prix I believe <laughs> No, so it's the Belgian Grand Prix uh, So if you've seen the previous episode um, No, leave a like on this one if you haven't Go watch it now. Both playlists for 2012 and 2013 are in the description bar below. So we're into the third race of the rival challenge with Nico Hulkenberg. If I beat him, I'll get his seat. If I don't, I'll lose it. Um, and then I'll have to pick a new rival. Um, but I think there's a potential rivalry brewing between me and Nico Rosberg because we've kind of had battles. In the second race, was at the German Grand Prix. Welcome to Silverstone, the British Grand Prix. It might only be the third race of the season, but on track, things are hotting up nicely. So really excited about the, the British Grand Prix here as I'm recording this qualifying has just ended for the Brazilian Grand Prix so looks like we're going standard setup so if you are if you are new to the channel uh, please do check out the 2012 season chance before this one uh, just to get you up to speed um, Yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm not sure how the Toro Rosso is going to handle around Silverstone because it's not the sort of circuit that suits my car. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Let's go for the last corner now. And on to the new start finish straight. Four qualifying lap, and here we go. Coming down into turn one. And I flip the car right now, and I've run a bit wide. Just about got away with it, braking hard. And oh my god, the braking is. The back of the Toro Rosso is shaking around like a donkey trunk on Blackpool Beach. Worst metaphor I've ever used. Let's come here, you see the cars are absolute handful. Breaking down now. 
Sinner just, just a bit off, just about gets it in. Breaks hard there. See, I'm going to dab it. The, oh my god, the back end. Get the tires screeching. Now down towards Cops. Absolute flat out. Not have to break. Gets that perfect. Now come towards Maggot and Beckett. One of my favourite corner complexes. Right. Left. Right. Oh my god, I've gone straight on. I've done it again. Fuck. Again in qualifying for the second session in a row. I've ballsed it up. You've seen the first episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. I've ballsed up in Monza and I've done it again. It's a serious amount of time to lose. Breaking for stone. There's nothing more to do but finish the lap off. Go down for the Abbey Chicane. Missed the breaking point there. Just got that sorted and I'm going to come across the line and it's going to be an absolute woeful. As qualifying over for us, we were hoping for better. You're starting in 22nd tomorrow. <laughs> absolute shocking. It was all going so well. I would have probably been on the fringes of the top 10 where Hulkenberg, um, Grosjean and Gutierrez are. But it just didn't work out and it's absolutely gone tits up. So, there you have it. Qualifying was going well until I made a mistake again. Um, So, in terms of being Hulkenberg in the rival challenge, it's, good. it's going to be quite difficult. It's going to be a big, massive... It, I'm going to have to have the start of the ages in the race if I'm going to beat Hulkenberg, but I'm not holding out much hope for it. Nico Hulkenberg is currently all square to his rival in the rival challenge. So here we go, guys, on the grid, we're at the back of the grid, British Grand Prix. Can we be our rival? We're about to find out. Where we go, it's it. Okay, a start, it's not great. Still 20 seconds. I've been out dragged by Marussia, what on earth? Big up for turn one. Oh my, no, oh my. God, that's gone absolute tits up. Worst way to start the race. Absolute worst way. So now I'm going to come down and just generally pick up breaking points. I can't, the guys still have it. Still dragging the car through corners. Worst start to run through ever. Oh my God, they're going so slow. Oh, I've 
having a look at the inside of Undergard. Pepper in time! Oh, oh my god, Maldonado, go quicker. Go quicker. Have to go up the inside. Worst thing, driving myself down on the pad. Screeching the tyres. Brake fires have gone to front. So P18 already, after that half spin on the first corner. I just made up my own track there. Didn't get a corner cut, standard. Left, right, oh my god, that was awful. Max of Beckett. It's not great. So we're going to hang the straight now. On that one. Oh my god, Maldonado is trying to meet you. This is real. What is this? Going through Stowe. Come down towards Abbey up Club, I think it is. Break hard. Oh my god. Oh, I got a corner cut. Yeah, that, yeah that's about it. Oh jeez. The back end on this Toro Rosso. So 12 is where Hulkenberg is. Oh, absolute beast of a line. Much better. Brigham hard now. Ooh. Try going the outside of Charles Peak. He's forced me a bit wide. Got to move on. There's John Eric then. Oh, just ran a bit wide. Just the dirty air from Vern. I've got four in the slipstream. It's going to be dive bomb of the century. Oh my god. Just got it done. Break. Oh my god, the oversteer is real on this. Sweeping down towards Cops. Lap two. I'm up into P16, so I've got to recovery so far. Turning in. And now heading towards Mountain Beckett again. Oh, absolute beast. It's going well so far. Go wider so we get it to straighten the car up more to come out. But back burns a bit behind. Going down the hand of straight. And I'm closing in on what looks like Roman Grosjean. Well Gutierrez. Oh I've hit the back of Gutierrez. Got too far on the outside, give me space. Cheers, Jeff. DRS is enabled. Lap three. Oh my god, guys, I could still be on. Breaking hard. Oh, just about. And that's Bottas. Bottas, be quicker. Oh my god, back end, back end. Toro Rosso clearly wants to go up to Narnia. Down the straight. Breaking hard for this. Go that just about gets the car turned in. Back into Luffield. Oh my god, oh my god, Luffield, Luffield. Oh my god, god, oh. Have I done it? Yes, no. Oh, you absolute tit. Oh, gee, just, just about got away with that. Bottas is still there. He's not giving this up. And I've got him round the outside of going into Cubs. Beast of a line. I'm the 14th. And my next target is my, uh, my old teammate from Season Channel in F1 2012, Paul De Resta. Mag of the I've taken like an absolute animal. Two places behind him now. He's still on. Come down to the stove. Yeah, cheers for that absolute flu flu stove. Come down to the chicane. Oh, this. Oh, oh. That's the rest of the head. The rest are. Oh, back end. Hulkenberg's now gone into 11. Just missed the apex, he thought got on the grass. Curved grass. Everything, massive dive bomb. Just about got it on oversteer. 
Oh my lord, the yoga steer is real. Coming through this session now. I don't know what the corner's called. And on the back straight. Breaking our personal best, first sector. Coming to Lockfield. Sutil. Give me space. Oversteer. Collision with Sutil, fair enough. And next is Hulkenberg, my rival. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Where was I going? Left, right and grass, okay, left again. Cheers for that. Uh, I know what you're thinking, why do I need to get back as well? Because if I don't do this, I've lost the challenge. I beat the tiger position. Sutil, stay where you are. Going through stow. Breaking hard for the next corner now. I'm about to go into the last lap. Oh my, where am I going? Onto the last lap now and um, pretty much um, that is where I end up. Cut now towards the hangar straight where I've just done a personal best second sector. And um, I didn't catch him. I didn't catch Hulkenberg. I'm disappointed with myself more than anything because I fucked up in qualifying. I could have caught him. So, coming through a section. Oh my god, my car is oversteering like a beast. Cross the line. Fuck. Failed to beat Hulkenberg. I got my position, but I just want to beat him. And that is... Unlucky, that's his rival challenge over. Hopefully he can win the next one. So, yeah, it's so first rival challenge of F1 2013 season challenge over, and I failed to win. Namely my fault because I fucked up in qualifying, so... There you go guys, um, I'll no doubt find another rival to try and have a go with, um, hopefully it can be a lot better. So even after all that, I still finished in the champion. well not finished the championship, so we're only like three races old, but I'm still ahead of Hulkenberg.
So we are back at the Season Challenge Hub where we're going to be qualifying a spa and my new rival is Jensen Button. Because uh, he's the only point ahead of me in the championship. Um, oh yeah, I reckon I can beat him. So let's see how we're doing qualifying for Belgium. See if we're doing much better. Usual stuff's gonna happen. Two races. If we beat Jensen, I'm in the McLaren. I tend to go well round round Spa. Um, whether this is a single race or challenge, I've always gone well round Spa, so the circuit should play to my strengths. So let's go see how it goes. Cheers, Crofty. And we're gonna mess around ourselves until we can get the best one. And that's that's too fast. Uh, yeah, that one there, just for a little bit of wing, but it's gonna affect the cornering speed. Here we go. Oh my God, look how low my wing is. Jesus Christ, my wing is low. Breaking hard for full ass sauce. Perfect entry. Get on the power, use a bit of the curves. Coming into O Rouge, and I love this corner. Oh, absolute animal. Going up late on now, using the tar rest. Oh my god. Coming up to they come now, and it's purple first sector. Oh, I've missed a breaking point. Oh, crap, crap. I'm still ahead. Just about, I think. Yes. Breaking hard. Turning in. Right, it's a tight acceleration. Just there still, breaking. Oh my, oh, what the? Right, okay, let's just quickly win the replay on that shit. Oh my god, I'm on the grass again. What on earth? Oh jeez, I'm on to lift off. Where am I going? Oh crap, I'm not taking it. Flicker through Poulon. That lift off has cost me a few tips. Oh my god, where am I going? Brakes turning. Oh my god, I've gone off again. Jeez. Uh, oh, for God's sake. What is it about me qualifying in a season challenge? I'm everywhere. My quality lap's all over the track. Coming through Blanchimar now. Not even a hit of a lift. I don't know where the hell I'm going to end up. This is the apex. Oh, that is the worst line ever. Eighteenth. Oh God. I'm so annoyed with myself. I could have been top ten, maybe even fingers of top six. I'm so. Oh, it happened in Silverstone. It. It happened in Monza and it's happened here. I've balls up a quality lap when I was looking good. <sighs> Fuck. Well, rival is Jensen, so he's in top 10 anyway. Do I think I can beat him? Um, if I have a good start and if I don't get caught up in first corner melee, I should be alright. But I'm literally right at the end of the whole midfield thing, so it's going to be. It's going to be messy turn one.
Hard prepared, let's go. Here we go, Belgian Grand Prix. Burn 17, me 18. Let's see what I can do from here. It's going to be an absolute manic turn one. Let's see how we do. Five lights out, and away we go. Ooh, that's, a, that's an awful start. That's the worst start I've ever done. <laughs> Oh, the pit's going to be braking, braking, braking. Oh, so it's also the inside Duresta. Duresta, no. No! Oh, Duresta. We partied in the Travel Lodge. My former teammate from F1 2012 Season Challenge has just given me the rear wheel of death glitch. And I've hit the wall. Going up through a route now. Oh. Good job. This is definitely a worldly comeback. Come up till they come. I've kind of caught them up already. I've just got to get into the groove there because this could be catastrophic. Oh my god. Breaking three, three. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck no. What, what the hell is going on with this car? Am I restarting it? Of course I'm bloody restarting it. Right. Take two. <laughs> Five lights out. I'm coming for the approaching for three. So cut across the cage so we can't come up the inside. We're going to go up the inside here. How many do we get through? Ooh. Hand of Rage comes out. And we're right behind Grosjean in the Lotus. Oh, that's the worst line take from the Rouge. Got away with it. I'm absolutely horribly using the curves. Tararoso wreck. Renault versus Renault. So Lotus Renault. Side by side. So we've got to give. Oh my Jesus! Oh, hang on. Weber's coming back. Jensen's behind me. Oh, so close! I'm already up at the P8. Oh, we're coming back at Weber. <laughs> In Riken is there. Having a dab on the X and the pad to make sure I get through the corner. Our next target is Rosberg, Mercedes, we had a slight battle at the German Grand Prix, me and Rosberg did. Well, I say a slight battle, it was a dive bomb. A right chicane thing, which I should know and I don't, I've missed the breaking point. She's got through that okay. Oh my god, I've gone wide. Oh Christ, I'm right, kidding. Of course, we did the wall. Weber's passing as well. The button's behind me. Oh, this is going to be a worthy move to pull this off. Oh, bang, it was a Weber. And again, oh, side pod death glitch. Just be careful when overtaking, otherwise, we might get a penalty. I might get a penalty. I think Weber should. It's like, after all that, I'm still in P7. So breaking hard now. Oh my god, that is the dive bomb of the ages. And that's not come off. <clears throat> oh, lose now. I've got, I've got to focus. I've got to get in this group because my driving is all over the track. Chasing after Riken in. I've just got to use curves, no DRS. I've only seen you. 
pray card for Lake Com. And it's Rosberg. He's next on the road. Jesus, come on, Toro Rosso. And going to Stavolo. Well, it might be the one, I'm not sure. Anyway. Going into, into the left hander now. This goes on forever. Where am I going? Down to the right left. Section I should know and don't. Much better line. Breaking hard for the corner. Get that right. Wow. Have to lift off in the corner there. I've got a slight bit of curves left, so do we use it? Yes, we do. We use it to get a bit away from Raikkonen. Oh my god, Raikkonen. Where's he going? I've gone off. I've lost a bit of speed. And I'm defending from Raikkonen. Break hard. Oh, that is, that is, oh, I've done that deliberately. <laughs> Just slow right in and up. Come across the start finish line, lap three, DRS is enabled. I'm much more comfortable now in the car. So I'm now going to be chasing after Nico Rosberg. So I haven't completed the race at the minute. Perfect for a rouge. We said about chasing after Nico Rosberg now because he's potentially my future rival. And oh, that battle. Looks like Rosberg's got past battle to it, if that's the case. Personal best first sector. No, it's not battle, sorry, it's Perez. Is it Perez? Could be Perez. So we're chasing after Sergio Perez in the McLaren Mercedes. Long left hander. And Jensen is ninth. So um going good with that. Get that absolute perfect. Breaking hard now for the right hander. What's my second sector? It's purple. Oh, behave. Can we not three blanche more now? Definitely settle into this car now. Blanche more. About 180 miles an hour. Breaking hard for the bus off she came. And it is Sergio Perez who I'm chasing. And then Rosberg after that. Across the line. <laughs> oh, behave. Oh my lord. 55 1. Jesus. Lap 4 5. Tell you what, fourth place is on there, boys. Scream for a rouge. Give me that DRS, you Mexican bitch. Come on, come on, come on. I'm horrible, Paris. The slipstream's going to be a dive bomb the ages. Little bit sector, Paris. We party. Just about got through there. Now we're going up to Rosberg. This is just a never ending right hander. Can we need to do it left, the tight left hander. Now we're down towards the one. The never ending left hander just goes on for an eternity. And you have to, it's literally a dab of the brake, full throttle. Now to the right left kink of which I do not know the name of. Had to get out of the foot of uh, Great hard. To the right hander. Oh, on the curb. I'm off by a fair bit. It's just surprising. Well, I'm not bothered about Perez, Jeff. I am bothered about Rosberg. Because this is where I could end up finishing. If I get it all right. 
Two points from that. No problem. Down to the bus stop. There's Ross Bird. Oh, I've got, I've gone in so deep. <laughs> Made me on track. Not even got up anyway. Result. Breaking hard for that sauce. There he is. I'll tell you what, boys. Four places on it. This could be a last corner dive bomb. This whole lap has got to be banged on perfect. I've got the DRS, but Mercedes is so strong on a straight line. So we cut now to the final part of the lap. I've just been chasing Rosberg for the first half, so we didn't really miss much. Purple second sector. Oh my lord! Super points run out. It's going to be a last corner dive bomb on Rosberg. Up the inside. Break ever so late. Don't leave him the space. And we've got fourth place. We're going to cross the line. It's a brilliant P4. From last place on the grid. I beat Jensen. I finished fourth. And this rivalry with Rosberg is only just beginning. Jensen Button will be really disappointed with that performance. What an absolute result. To come from literally last. Looking to make amends next race. To beat him, and not only that, I got fourth on literally the last corner of the last lap, beating Nico Rosberg. Second time in four races, I've been fighting Rosberg for position, so maybe there's potential rivalry brewing there. It's been a tough uh, first four races of season challenge, I'm not going to lie, it's not been easy. I think the main thing I want to sort out is qualifying, and then I think I can have a good race pace as well. So, I've been Cosplay Gamer 907. Thanks very much for watching. Um, you know, leave like, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me all on social media stuff, which, which is above at the top of the video. If you're just tuning in, if this is your first ever video, go back and watch the first episode so you can get up to speed or 2012 season challenge. It's all there. So, I've been Cosplay Gamer 907. Till next time, goodbye.